Howdy, welcome to the Lady Walker Show. I am Lady Walker and we have a Jim Dundee of a show in store <laughs> for you. My guest is a producer and a recording artist and he is going to tell us a little bit about who he is and what he does. So beloved, welcome to the show. Big Yayo. Hello. Hello and greetings to Thank you. Thank you for the greeting. All right, Big Yayo. That is I. Okay, now <laughs> tell us where did Big Yayo come from? Uh, pet peeve name, some friends from high school gave me and it stuck. It stuck, huh? It stuck. So when I came to Jackson and started my quote unquote music career, I didn't have a name. So I guess I'm Big Yayo. <laughs> Okay. Now, you said when you came to Jackson, right. meaning you are not originally? Not from originally Jackson. from Jackson. I'm, I'm, I'm from a small town in North Mississippi, okay. uh, Goodman, Mississippi. Goodman, uh, heard of, heard yeah. of Goodman. Well, uh, main campus of Holmes Community College. Oh, so, really? The main yeah. campus? We got a main campus. Oh, really? Hello. Right in Holmes. Right in Holmes. Community College, That's okay. In Goodman, Mississippi. Goodman, yeah. Mississippi. Yeah. How often do you go back home to visit? My mother makes sure I get there at least once every two weeks. She, okay, once know, every two weeks. Every two weeks, she'll, you know, you get that phone call. Hello. <laughs> okay, I'll be up there in a minute. <laughs> really? Yeah. What, how, what are we looking at like 60 minutes? Or less than About 40, 45 minutes. Okay. It's just right on the other side of Ken. Oh, really oh, now? Yeah, Didn't up, know that. Yeah, right up 55 on okay. the other side Okay, are Ken. you the only child that she has? No, no, she's actually, I've got a, a younger sister, so uh, Tabitha, she's doing great. She's a, a nurse now, so, you know, hey. Oh, Ms. so Ruben you just bad. matriculated on down to Jackson, Mississippi. Came, came to Jackson, came here, uh, actually did a, 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 a military stint went through Desert Storm and when we came back, a lot of us younger guys came and came right out here to Hines uh, in Raymond and then okay. started going to school here. So. so you graduated from Hines? Went to Hines, graduated from Hines and got sucked into the music business. But what right did you there. major in when you went to Hines for you to be into music unless you majored in? Surprisingly, I went into nursing. Did you? I went into nurse and I needed something concrete. I wanted some money. <laughs> I heard that. I needed some That's money. the name of the game. I okay. needed something. So went in and did that and started. I, I started working with the agency, uh, Stay Home. And almost as soon as I started working for Stay Home, my music style was taking off. What? Did you got, you got your degree in nursing? No, now? I didn't get a good degree in nursing. I went two years in nursing, and I started uh, with the company, Stay oh, Home, okay. doing CNA work, off, I mean, home visits as I was going to school. But as I was moving around, I met my first business partner, which was a guy named DJ Mike Swift. And he and I decided to start throwing local parties for the local colleges. And, and how did that go? It went pretty well? It went off like a bomb. It went like really, really crazy. We, we did a, uh, something that's even 20 years later, people still remember those parties from a place called a party house. So that's something that's really, really familiar with, you know, the did party going on. Uh, throw parties? Uh, sometimes we do. Uh, now it's more concentrated on the producing and the. Uh, so when you met this person, you decide, okay, I'm through. What's fine? <laughs> yeah, when you look at. <laughs> 40, 50 hour a week for $800 and a four to five hour day yeah. for the same amount. Right. Mm. <laughs> let me stick with this and I really enjoy I'll this. I'll come back to this, but let me see how far <laughs> this is going to go. And, and so it took you far, It huh? never let me go. Yeah. So we're still here. We're still in that Now, meeting. you, as you are a recording artist, as I said in mm -hmm. the uh, opening, a producer as well, but mm -hmm. you were a recording artist before you became a producer, or which one came first? Um, I actually was a producer first. Okay. I, I've always wrote songs, even when I was in high school, did music. Um, my, my family was really, really supportive of me being a musician, you know, actually taking it farther. I could ask for something and they would give it to me. So I would ask for drum sets. I didn't want rims for cars and stuff like that. I wanted instruments. So you play instruments yeah. as well? Mm -hmm. Which particular ones? The drums? Uh, I, I play drums and keyboards particularly. Started off playing saxophone. 
So, you know, I, I dibbled and Was dabbled. that something you taught yourself or you went to school to learn how to play it or? I, I basically taught myself, but I had an instructor in my high school. Uh, uh, he was a band instructor, Mr. Robert Johnson, and he just took me under his wing. He, he saw something in me and he, he used to bring me in his office while the rest of the band was doing stuff, uh, band uh, affiliated. He would bring me in his office and teach me how to score the music that the band would play. So the first song I ever did was Salt and Pepper's Push It. Oh, yeah. Real Push simple. It. Yeah. So it's a simple song, but when you're having the right eight, ten parts for the tubas, for the trombones, for the saxophones, you learn to uh, transpose music and all that. So it gave me a, a great foundation on how to hear really now that, well. You know, I, I find it to be very interesting when I hear, you know, people who play those particular instruments because mm -hmm. I'm trying to learn how to, to play the guitar and it's pretty challenging. So yeah. right now it's in the closet. It has been there for quite some time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm always fascinated. Get it on out how of the closet. Start, you know? That's what it was. He, he, he said, well, this is, this is what the bass has to play and this is what the trombone has to play. And once you start seeing that, it, I just formed a, a really, really good ear for whatever I could hear, I could play. If I can hum it, I can play it. Really? Yeah. Now, <clears throat> as a producer, you said you write songs, so of course as a recording artist, you write all of your songs? Uh, I, we actually, now, we have a production team called okay. The Saviors. The so Saviors. there's a couple of us involved, uh, myself of course, uh, the artist Jay Warren is part of the, the, the writing team, uh, the artist Dave Mack, the artist Prince Ty. Uh, we, we just kind of come together and then maybe I'll have uh, an idea and one of them will expand it or vice versa. So it's easy to, when you're working with a group of people to, to really yes. get a good project. So when y'all come together, <laughs> From that standpoint, you, they mm -hmm. may be writing, y'all may be doing a song for you right. or for one of them. Right, right. So it just kind of keeps it. Or, you know, if, if, if I know a certain way J1 likes to sing, I may have the idea and, and bounce it off of him and vice versa. He may know something that may fit Yayo, the artist, a little bit better. So it's, it's, but this it's, is a full-time career for you. It's a full-time career. This is what we do professionally. Day in day. and day, day out. Day in and day Because out. you never know when those songs are going to come to you. So, you know, of course, this can be 24, seven days a week because right. the idea may come in the wee hours of the night. And most of them do. My mm -hmm. biggest idea is we were out this weekend and we wrote on the road, on about a six hour drive, we wrote about eight songs. Eight on songs the drive. during that six hours? During this, that's when we're- That's a lot. Yeah, that, that's when we're inspired because you're out riding, you're seeing different things, you're hearing different influences. Uh, so you, you come up with the ideas and we always try to travel with what they call tracks or instrumentals. Yes. So we just kind of go from there and pull out those legal pads and Somebody's driving and somebody's <laughs> right. Well, we're going to come back and continue along this okay. line. And, and again, you know, I'm pretty sure there are some other people, young people probably coming up. Mm -hmm. Even some, not just young people, even older people right, maybe, right. who uh, want to get into the mm -hmm. music business. And mm -hmm. you can tell us the protocols to that. Okay. All right. Beloved, we will be right back. Welcome back, beloved. My guest is Big Yayo, producer and recording artist. Yes. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was so infatuated with on how, you know, you all came up with eight songs in yeah. six hours. Yeah. And once you get those songs, of course, you don't utilize them right then. You go and you do some right. perfection there. Yes, yes, absolutely. We, we get in and, and we kind of jot them out. Maybe it may be an outline for them. And we'll take it, and, and the next step is uh, kind of crunching it, making it fit in the song format. And now it's time to go to the studio. So is it like, okay, who's going to sing this song? Yeah. You know, normally, when, as, we're, as it's coming out, we're like, hey, this will be good for such and such. You know, and, and it happens like that. You yeah. Know, we, we, we get a lot of offers now, especially now. Uh, J1 just wrote and produced. Uh, a, a, a hit single, in my opinion, for the legendary Lenny Williams. Yes, really? Yeah, he just finished that up uh, a week ago. 
So we came in, Lenny flew out of California, came down to Mississippi to work with us. We didn't go out. Our whole thing is trying to expose more people to our culture here in Mississippi. So it's kind of easy for us to go out and experience theirs. But if you kind of want this soul thing that we've got, we kind of want you to come our way. Okay. Now tell us mm. some of your songs that that's out there. Uh, I've got, well, I, I started maybe about 10 years ago with a song called 13 Days with uh, Dave Mack. Yes, heard that. So we did that one. Uh, we followed up with a song. I did the production or the track for a song from Lamar's Williams called Back of Mind Paolo. Uh-huh. Uh, did a song with Stevie J called Because of Me. Uh, we just did the remix to Mississippi Boy with the legendary Charles Wilson that I uh, wrote and produced. Uh, my current song, which is number one on the uh, soul dance chart, is a song called Cowgirl. Oh, Cowgirl. So, oh, yeah. You know, there's a reason we've got these cowboy boots. <laughs> cowboy boots, huh? Hello. <laughs> Absolutely. So okay. that's, that's, that's really been, you know, a major. Now tell us about, okay, production on the production side. Okay. What all goes into production after you have written the song or whatever? Okay. Uh, Going in, going to the studio, the one thing about it, a lot of people are beat makers. Uh, I, I carry myself as a record producer, and that's kind of like a supervisor on the job. They kind of set the tone of the recording session, you know, picking the, 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 all the elements from if it needs background singers, what studio we're going to do, what added instruments we're going to need in the song. So it's kind of like an overseer to everything part of that particular but song. But that's a pretty big, you know, job that you have to do. It can be. You know, I, I've got a lot of good people that I work with. They make it look so easy. They make me sound really, really good. But it's it's a team effort. You know, it's just a lot of it is, is quote unquote my direction, but when you've got a strong team, it's, it, it's not as hard. Yeah. Not now with hard. the eight songs that you, that you all came up with during mm -hmm. those six hours of mm -hmm. travel, that those songs, once you perfect them, they won't come out until what a year or so later. Or no, what? not not really. One thing about it, we're we're an independent company. We're uh, uh, J1 and I started a company after the success of his mega hit. I've got this record. We came in and we started a company called Save Your Music Group. And a lot of people, why you call it that? Well, we we and that's Save Your S A V I O R V I O R. Okay, you know, Save Your like okay. our Lord. Yes. Um, and people, they kind of got that take from it, oh, why did you call it? Are you guys a gospel company? But we look at ourselves as a uh, the saviors of this culture, okay, of this gotcha. soul music. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we keep the lights on, we keep the torches burning for what we do, which is soul and blues music. Uh, we're, we're a new generation. Oh, I like that you got that combination of both. Right. Soul and blues. It's soul Not just and blues, blues, but right. both. And, and gospel. You know, it yes. all kind of feeds in inspirational. The messages are all about love and heartbreak. So, you know, it's good time and it's bad time. But it's a true reflection of uh, what we feel everybody goes through at some point. Mm -hmm. You know, life is, is, is not straight valleys. It's, it's peaks and valleys. So that's kind of what we, we do for the uh, listening public. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you, some of the guys that you mentioned that you do uh, collaborate with, mm -hmm. what are some of their songs? I, well, I have heard of Dave Mack, of right. course. Right. Of course, the Dave Mack, 13 Days. Now, Stevie J is a... Well, I haven't heard of Stevie right, as well. Right. Stevie. Uh, Jawan is just the newest phenomenon. He, he He's a 25-year-old soul music singer, writer, producer. He's just the total package. And basically, he's probably the hottest thing in the South right now. So, are most of the people that you all collaborate with are they from the South? Yeah. But, but Lenny Williams is where? He's from, from He's out of California. Oh, okay. He's out of California, but we do a lot of touring. So, a lot of the people that we're in these tours with, they recognize what we're doing, and they'll you'll see them easing over. Hey, man, who who did that record for you? We did. Hey, you think we could uh, talk about some things? Of course we can, <laughs> sir. For real? Absolutely. This is our can. business. This is what yes. we do. We all came out of, uh, we were in California um, early part of uh, last year and with Warner Brothers, and we were able to submit um, five sample tracks for Kanye West's new album. Really? So we're out, you know, kind of. How challenging is it to be in 
this particular business? It's very challenging because there is no safety net. It's, oh. it's, 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 it's an all or nothing type thing. And when you do it, you know, 24 hours as your main gig. You really have to be about, you have to be working at it most times. Like they say, you you you, you eat what you kill. So if you didn't <laughs> eat kill, what you kill. If you didn't kill anything, you don't eat today. Because you got quite a few uh, production companies mm -hmm. out there. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, the music business is, is, is very, uh, it can be very lucrative, but it's, it's, it's saturated too, because, you know, this is a, a business built on dreams and hope and talent. Not only, you know, if you can sing or dance, but you, you know, it's a dreamers. We're, we're, we're the dreamers. We're those people that kind of see things that aren't physical. This table is yes. physical, but a song isn't. It's something that's going to play towards your emotions. So I think it's a hard to sell, because I can sell you this tangible item, but it's kind of hard to sell you a good time or an that emotion. That is so interesting. Very mm -hmm. well put. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see, mm -hmm. let's see if you have someone who, um, I don't know, but someone who probably wants to, you know, sing songs mm -hmm. and and become a um, recording artist, mm -hmm. but they they just have that desire, but they don't know the first thing on what they need to do. Mm -hmm. Because there are many people who have yeah. such a lovely voice, beautiful yes. voice. Yes. I mean, I have heard many, many, many people, yes. but they don't take it anywhere. Yeah. Uh, I think that it's sort of like you may hear them, and I'm not talking about those that may be in the choir all the time. Right. You got people who just know how to sing and yeah. they do nothing with it and you think and I may be thinking oh my goodness you have such a beautiful voice you would think it's a gift or something but right. they do nothing with it well it is and a lot of times people think that the well I tell you what before you go ahead I hate to cut you no, off but no. I am getting a wrap up okay we're going to let you come back okay. and, and we'll tell do us we'll do you that. Know, your perspective on that absolutely all Love right to. thank you so much all right. it. we will be right back Tonight's guest is Big Yayo, producer and recording artist of Save Your Music Group. For information on services offered by Save Your Music Group, call 601-624-1534 or email saveyourmusicgroup at gmail.com. Welcome back, beloved. My guest is Big Yayo, producer and recording artist. Yes. Now, um, recording artist, blues mm -hmm. and soul. southern soul. There you soul. go. Well, maybe not southern soul, just soul. Just soul. We, we, just soul. Just soul. We don't want to just limit. We don't want to limit it. It's it's soul. soul is favorite. <laughs> okay, I get you. I get you. <laughs> now, I um, <clears throat> you were just getting ready to answer the question about like some people who can sing really, really good, right. but they do nothing with it. They right. may not know where to start. Right. My thing is, it's just like anything, do something. Right now, uh, technology has kind of leveled the playing field. You know, you can take your iPhone and record yourself singing, and that could go viral. You know, there's a lot of stars out here that just came from a viral platform. They can't. I know, for real. And, and, and it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing because it didn't used to be like that. You would have to position yourself with a record label and they would have to put you out and print your records and record you. Now, it's so easy. So my advice, my initial advice is to do something. Don't just, oh, I can do this, I can do that. And I, I was, and the reason I say that is because I was the same way. I, I did a lot of stuff for other people behind the scenes, but the minute I decided to do something for Yayo in front of the camera, it worked. It worked. It worked. Now you work so interesting that uh, before we started taping, before we started taping, you said you worked for a radio station. Right. Yeah, I, yes. I did several years right here in Jackson, WJMI. Um, my girl Alice Marie, Stan Branson, Alice actually saw something in me. Uh, I was doing commercials. That's what uh, I actually did. I do commercials. I do what they call vocal imaging oh, all over you? the United States. So a lot of the events that you hear that come through Jackson, that's probably my voice doing that. And when I first started doing that, I would take them to the radio station. You know, here's the commercial for the party house, for that club I had, because we didn't really have anybody to do our commercials. So we did them ourselves. 
I had a little tape deck and a little bit of equipment and I would get on there and talk like this. It's coming that way, it's gonna be me. And so I would do that and they thought that was, wow, you got a unique voice, especially with this Southern drawl that I yes. have. Yes. So, you know. And you still do some of those. Oh yeah, I still do them to this day. That's, that's you like. You said all over. All over. I mean, I have clients all over, even in the UK, Germany, because you know, they want Oh wow, stuff. that is so interesting yeah. from thinking about becoming a nurse and now yeah. producer, recording artist. Yeah, it, it's been an amazing journey. Uh, I had a friend just last night, she sent me a text, she said, I, I, I remember you, she said, I've seen you go from a CNA to a CEO. Oh. And I said, wow, that's the best thing anybody's ever said to me. Because yes. it, 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 it exemplifies But everything. did you ever think that you would get here? Yes. You did, you knew that? Yes. Even though there, are, there were challenges that you faced along Claimed the way. Now, now tell us about one challenges, one challenge that you faced that maybe it sort of discouraged you in going into the direction where you are now? Uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the biggest challenges here uh, in, in this city was uh, we, we, we were involved in throwing these mega parties. And when you're trying to do the right thing uh, and you don't get the legitimate help that you need, and what I mean, uh, when you're doing parties and situations like that, you need help from officials, law enforcement, when you're trying to do the right thing, because mm -hmm. you're not trying to do anything that's going to put anybody in jeopardy or anything right. like that. And when you don't get it, uh, you're left holding the bag when you actively went out and solicited, hey, guys, I've got a thousand people a night that come out to these parties, and then, so I need you guys to help us, whatever we need to do, because we want to do it the right way. We want to make sure everybody's safe. And when you don't get it, and then things can happen. Anything can happen. Right. And it just discourages you. It put me in a really, really uh, dark place. You know, when you're talking about you do this for a living, financially it can cripple you. And anytime you, your money ain't right, mm -hmm. your mind ain't right. <laughs> so, um, I know. Yeah, that was just one of the major challenges because you go from making X amount of dollars doing what you're doing to nothing. And those are, that's the pitfalls of being in this business. You can be celebrated to, today and be a, a washout tomorrow. And it's really? just that quick. There's no grace. There's no gray area. I mean, you can be the million dollar baby today and, and nothing tomorrow. So wow. it, it, can, it can really play with your mind if, if, you're not, if you don't have your eyes set for greater pastures. Wow, but have you all ever searched YouTube or some other form of media and just scout out, you know, some potential clients and say, oh, that person sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. See if I can get in touch with this person. Yeah, but as a company. Or do you all just stick with uh, the known recording artists? No, no, we, the thing about it, we're all unknowns. That's the thing about it. that's the biggest thing about our brand. Yes. We want to interject. That, that 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 new element. We want to be non-traditional because, like I say, if you look at what we do, we do blues and soul music, and for a lot of people, there's an age that's attached to that. There's a a lifestyle that's attached to it, and we're kind of breaking those stereotypes because that's we don't great. consider ourselves as being, in no disrespect to anybody, but you know, older in this. We're new but we still have the same essence because we look up to the Johnny Taylors, the Tyrone Davis, the Seal Johnsons, those people, the Al Greens. But when you talk about somebody like Jay, when he's 25, 25. He, he wasn't even living when some of these guys were doing their thing. And he's the perfect embodiment of those cultures, of that delivery system, of that music. And that's what I think is making what we do great because we're the renaissance of the soul and blues music now. You know, a lot of our great ones have died. Yes. I mean, they're not And you around. certainly have to try to keep that alive. We have to, it's, it's so important. You, you gotta think about it. we come from ground zero of Delta blues, mm -hmm. you know, in the news they're talking about, you know, B.B. King and everything. Currently yes. today, we're the, the, the children of this man. So we have to keep that going and we have to do it in the proper way. We have to do it in, in, in the way that it was taught to us. So right. That's what makes us, I think, a little bit different. Okay. Now, what kind of projects are you all working on now? Uh, 
currently we're wrapping up my album. Okay, um, your album. My album uh, is, is called Electric Cowboy. Okay, Electric Cowboy. Electric Cowboy, we're wrapping that up. Then we're going in to do uh, our kind of greatest hits compilation we've had over the past 10 years. Some of the records we've named today, we had some great success with those records. And we want to, now that we're starting to get this national attention as a company, some of those records didn't make it to that level. So now we kind of want to take those records over to that level with us and also interject some new music. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that we're working with. Currently, we're out touring with Kevin Richardson. There's a lot of people. Legendary Shirley Jones from the Jones Sisters. Uh -huh. I've just been commissioned to write a song for her. So it's kind of like we're, we're mixing these, these, these super great brands, you know, these, these legendary artists with our new movement. All right. Well, we are going to take another break right. and come back and let you give out any contact information okay. just in case someone would like to get in Absolutely. touch with you and find out how they can get to where they want to be. Okay. All right. That's great. Thank you. All right. I love it. We will be right back. Tonight's guest is Big Yayo, producer and recording artist of Save Your Music Group. For information on services offered by Save Your Music Group, call 601-624-1534 or email saveyourmusicgroup at gmail.com. Welcome back, beloved. My guest is Big Yayo, producer and recording artist. Now, just in case someone is interested in contacting you for okay. whatever reason that has to do with, you know, recording music or re whatever it may okay. be, singing, please give out that info. All right, the quickest way is 601-624-1534, or you can go to saveyourmusicgroup at gmail.com. All right. Short and sweet. All right, exactly. Well, thank you so, so much. Thank I appreciate you, for having you me coming. Oh, the pleasure is all Thank you for having mine. me. Yeah, and maybe out. one day you can come back whenever y'all get those songs we done, completed. We will. I'll, that's what I'll do. I'll come back and say, this is one of those, that, that, that ride collection. Okay, well, great. Me Casa is Sukasa. <laughs> All right. Beloved, thanks for tuning in and on. Lady Walker will see you next time on the Lady Walker Show. Bye-bye.